Hey folks, let's dive into learning these practical tricks. Instead of copying and pasting or retyping, hold the Alt button and press the down arrow. A drop-down list of the information entered in the column is displayed in alphabetical order, which you can select with the up and down keys of the keyboard or with the mouse. This feature is only for letters and does not apply to numbers. In Tables Instead of using the Freeze Top Row tool, which displays the first row above, you can convert the information into a table with the Ctrl T shortcut keys. In addition to the beautiful style and various other features, this also fixes the header on top when scrolling. To scroll horizontally, instead of using this handle, you can hold down the Ctrl and Shift keys and scroll using the mouse wheel. For full screen mode, use the shortcut keys Ctrl, Shift and F1, press the same keys to exit full screen mode. If for any reason you want to get the information out of the table mode, just press Ctrl and A and right click, then click the convert to range from the table menu. As you know, to copy a sheet, click on its name and select the move or copy option, select the sheet and check the create a copy option. But the faster method is to hold down the Ctrl key and make a copy of the desired sheet by dragging with the mouse. As you know, to draw a shape, you must click on the shape option from the insert menu and under the illustration section to select the shape you want and then draw it. If you use such an option or menu a lot, you can right click on it and click add to quick access toolbar to add it to this section. From now on, you can access it very easily from this section. There are two practical ways to hide information. First, you must select a range and press the Ctrl-1 keys on the keyboard, and from the Custom section and the Type section, type semicolon 3 time. And as you can see, the information can be seen from this part. To return, just select the range again and set the format to General. In the second method, with this method you can hide a column or a row and unhide it in this way. I hope you find these tricks useful. If this tutorial was helpful, please like the video and share it with your Excel savvy friends and colleagues. And if you're interested, consider subscribing to the channel.